Hey, Internet friend, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative here on another Wellness Wednesday, and I got my friend Dr. Derek Anderson here. How are you doing, Dr. Derek? I'm doing great. It's a great day it to be is. alive. It is. Nice sunny day. I like it that I got that seasonal effectiveness disorder thing. I get a little sad when it gets gloomy out, but now it's nice and blue sky. I love it. Right? Makes exactly. me feel good. It's amazing what sun and that vitamin D can do to your system. <laughs> Yeah, and it, it's uh, th that's one of those things that you don't really um, physically understand because you're not taking a vitamin D pill. It's just happening to you, and it, I don't yep. know. It, it's kind of a weird thing because it does really put you into a, a slump, and you got to change your mindset. I, I do a lot of that kind of work for you. I just kind of change yep. my state. Yep, absolutely. And uh, it's unfortunate you got to try to do that. So exactly, yeah, especially for us here in the north when we don't see the sun for months at a time because we're inside working a lot it just it gets very monotonous and, and yeah it does affect your body in a lot of different ways well i feel like uh, sorry for the people in london and seattle you know when it's always raining and yeah, I, I, exactly. I couldn't do it i need to have some sunshine yeah so today i want to talk about heart health because it's valentine's today so absolutely let's talk about heart health and how it uh, how chiropractic affects the heart so sure. why don't you just give a little brief and uh, let, let me kind of guess. Um, I'm assuming because chiropractic, because I'm learning all these things from you, that it's got to do yeah. with the nervous system. Yeah. And uh, all those nerves, they're, they're kind of affecting what, what makes the heart even pump, doesn't it? It, uh, it, yeah. it, it energizes, elect electrical impulses make the heart kind of work. So if you got your, your nervous system all plugged up, it could affect your heart working right. Oh. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, and you're, you're spot on there. It's, you know, I, I've said on this, this thing that we do every week, I've said it a couple of times, like your nervous system is the most important system within your body because it controls all of that. And like your brain has to tell your heart to, to pump blood. And, you know, and I, and I say this to patients a lot of times about how like your brain and your body will react to what you're doing. Is like you don't have if you're gonna go out and you're gonna exercise, you're gonna go for a run, like you don't need to sit down and like give your brain a pep talk and or your heart a pep talk and say, All right, you're gonna have to beat faster, you're gonna have to beat harder because I'm gonna start doing this run. It's like as soon as your body starts to exercise, starts to increase its activity levels, your body responds. Right. And so then your brain tells your your heart, you need to pump faster. And so, like, to, to be able to do that, the brain has to be able to, to efficiently communicate with the heart. And if it's not doing that, then, yeah, it can definitely cause different things. Um, I know this isn't really related to heart health, but, like, asthma is a huge indicator of that. Like, sports-induced asthma, like, if, if your brain and your nervous system isn't communicating with the smooth muscle of your uh, lungs, it's not going to expand as much, and so you can't take as much oxygen in. And then your body goes into basically, you know, panic mode or fight or flight because it can't get the oxygen that it needs. And so then you have an asthma attack. Right. And I guess that could then uh, circumvent on itself. Is that the right word, circumvent to on yeah. itself? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But once you start panicking, then you panic more because you're panicking. Yes, can, exactly. Yeah. So you're absolutely right. I mean, heart health is huge. I mean, I mean, you know, when, when people talk about heart health, you know, it's not just, I don't just say, oh yeah, if you've had heart attacks and all that stuff, come into the chiropractor, we're going to help it out. There's a lot of stuff that get, that's involved with those things. And so, but as, as most chiropractors are, we're very, very knowledgeable with nutrition and helping people with their diets. And so not just the chiropractic aspect of this, but to be able to help people monitor their diets, make sure they're eating healthy, and then obviously getting the right amount of exercise because your heart is like any other muscle in your body. You know, if you want to gain big muscles and heavy muscles, be strong and support your body the way they need to, you need to exercise, you need to lift weights. So your heart's no, no different. That's why you tell people, like, you need to exercise. 20-minute walks even, you know, 20 minutes a day. Just going out and walking is going to be a huge um, – uh, decrease in the risk of like cardiovascular disease and, and having heart attacks. Yeah, there's there's a lot of it. I mean, I just started thinking about all the different elements. It's not just your heart doing its thing. I mean, I mean it is, but there's a lot of things that the it's the veins that might be plugged. It's the yep. muscle, the strength of the muscle. It's yep. the the impulses that go to it through the nervous system. It's mm -hmm. uh, it's the um, the endurance of the heart. Not 
It yeah. can't just be strong. It's got to be strong for a long time if you're doing yep. extended exactly. periods. So, so yeah, a lot and of you're right. That, that electrical magnetic system that your heart and your brain and, and your body works off of with your nervous system, you know, that's how people develop like heart palpitations too is for whatever reason, the, the nerve flow or the system is, it, it breaks the connection and then you have palpitations and your heart, you know, will stop beating or skips a beat or, or stuff like that. All that stuff is involved within the nervous system and, and how it controls it. That's really fascinating when you start really thinking about how, like, if all of a sudden your heart starts doing that, I'm assuming that sometimes your heart is inefficient and you don't even know it. Yep. And oh, your absolutely. body would probably not, body wouldn't panic, but it react to it. Yeah. And you might be getting, so, like, what, what is it that actually, I mean, this is sort of off of chiropractic, but what is it when you're, you're having, like, a heart attack and your arm is going yeah. um, numb? Is that, like, because there's no blood in it? Well, yeah, it's just not getting the blood supply that it needs to over there. And the referred pain will, you know, from your heart and from this area, it just goes down into your, your left arm. And that's why they feel it over there. Because that's where the closest it is to your heart. So that's one of the first areas that's going to start to lose the, um, lose the blood flow to that spot. I see. Yeah. I was kind of curious. I wonder why that happens. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Well, this is good. This is good brief information. If anybody wants to know more about Dr. Derek, he's located right here in the Twin Cities on the western suburb in Minnetonka area. And more yep. specifically, you're down there in, um, I always right forget, the, Excelsior. The, the Glen Lake area of Minnetonka, right off of Excelsior Boulevard. Got it. So basically Excelsior Boulevard and 494? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty close. Cool. Just west of that. Alrighty then, thanks again for another Wellness Wednesday informational interview on Synergy Cafe. I appreciate you. Absolutely. Thank you, Brad. Thank you. Peace. See you tomorrow. Bye.